kind of buzzing and singing. The idea of having a space that's really dedicated to education, that doesn't have to get used for multiple other purposes, is, I think, a really important statement about what's important here. The idea was that the school should be a village, that it should not be a long line of imposing classrooms that is typically built in this country, but the idea of building a little cluster of three classrooms was integral to the initial idea of this. Uh, the buildings are placed in a way that makes it look as though they somehow emerged out of years of use, um, which has a real community feel to it. These children can go. They can go anywhere. It's equal the schwa, the school of choice. So they're coming from somewhere different than other schools, and I am telling you, they're going somewhere different. These children can grow up and be leaders anywhere, but we are teaching them responsibility so that they will be leaders in Haiti. It takes, in some cases, almost two hours to walk to this school. So when the parents walk their children to school, they then stay for the duration of the school day to then walk their children home, which is just a remarkable commitment on the part of the parents. They want to educate their young children. What the community is valuing here is raising young people and focusing on what they need in a way that really protects that and really affirms the needs of young people who are growing up. Every dollar goes into the school and there's so many organizations that that is not the case. It's going to need support to keep going. It's going to take a lot of money every year to keep this going and you want to keep it going. And to have the children running around and the parents and have the full experience of what's happening here is extraordinary. Literally after the teacher found me in the complex asked me to join him in the classroom and thanked me and showed me the plaque and he, he had his, like tears swelling up in his eyes and he just said thank you for making this possible for my children and for the school and for the community. I was like ready to give like 12 classrooms. <laughs>